I receive your challenge. What in the shitting hell is going on here, Amanda? Are you deaf? Answer me! Stop! That's a very good question, Dr. Winters. What the hell happened here? I guess you would all like to know as well. Well, it all started with a complete moron called Damien. Damien had always dreamt of becoming a serial killer. He did everything an inspiring serial killer should do. He started fires. He tortured household pets. And then he initiated an incestuous relationship with his mother. After all, a boy's best friend is his mummy. Our Damien then thought himself a suitably sinister, but highly impractical mask. I mean, look at this thing. How, how are you supposed to breathe in that? One maniacal laugh and you'd be dead from suffocation. And his name? The Creep. I mean, we're not in an H.E. slasher here. What? Oh, we are. Oh, right. Anyway, all Damien had to do now was start his reign of terror. So on dark, stormy, well, not exactly stormy, it was more overcast. One dark, overcast evening. Damien kissed his mother, among other things, goodbye, and went out to the dark, overcast evening and searched for a drunk bimbo to claim as his first victim, aka me. Except I wasn't drunk, and I didn't even know what the word bimbo meant. Nevertheless, Damien decided to kidnap me in the middle of the night and hold me against my will in my own house. It's, um, it's not usually this bloody, maybe sometimes. Shit! Forgot to mention Edgar! You see, Edgar was responsible for kickstarting Damien's little reign of terror. He had made the little Damien's life a living hell. Stop beating, beat him up, stole his lunch money, stabbed him in the eye with a protractor. So Damien decided to play the role of Twisted Serial Killer to get some kind of revenge on Edgar. You see, Edgar was once my boyfriend, and I had already sorted him long before the sweet, deluded, moronic, incompetent, mother-loving Damien kidnapped me. Damien was a big, fat faker, but I am the real deal, 100% certified insane. Bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, yes. He's my doctor. I don't think he's going to like this shit storm he's walked into. This is going to be fun. Answer me, Amanda! What the hell is going on here? Um... Cut, cut myself shaving? <laughs> be serious, Amanda. I'm only going to ask you one last time. What the shitting hell happened here? Did you? I am shocked, Dr. Winter. Do you really think that I would be capable of doing this? Would you like my honest answer? Now look, Amanda, the police will already be on their way, so you had better tell me what happened before they get here. This... This doesn't look good. So I then gave Dr. Winter the little speech I just gave you, remembering to leave out about the part of my being insane. Oh, that would make the situation more awkward than it already was. So you're saying that this man Damien? Yes. And then he? Uh, yes. And that this is his organs all over the yard? Um, yeah. So where is this Edgar? And who killed Damien if Edgar was already dead? Or did Edgar somehow manage to kill himself? I'm... I'm confused. No shit. What? Nothing, nothing. It's all very simple, Dr. Winters. Damien... <laughs> Damien killed Edgar. Yeah. Damien then kidnapped me. I managed to get free and stumbled across the dying, but not really dead Edgar. Edgar then took his bloody vengeance on Damien. And then Edgar, dying, but still not quite dead, finally succumbed to his wounds and died. Now even more so, 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 wait, how did 
Edgar managed to cut himself up. Shit. Um, don't think about that now, Dr. Winter. You're in a state of shock. Everything will become clear once the police finish their inquiry. Yes, you're right, my dear. I've even asked how you are feeling. You have had quite the night. You can say that again. You're right, my dear. I've even asked how you are feeling. You have had quite the night. And I don't think it's over yet, Dr. Winters. In fact, I think the fight's just about to start. Stop! Well, you have done well, my little guinea pig, haven't you? Did you just call me a pig? I told you to stop! You've done well, my little guinea pig. You know, I think this might be your finest work to date. Yes? What no. are you babbling about? What in the name of Isaac the second cousin's broken arm? I told you to stop, woman! Stop! In the name of God, stop! You've done well, my little guinea pig. Oh, I think this is your finest work to date. How do I know you're a little guinea That's quite simple, woman. I know everything about you. Her name is Amanda, and she is a killer. Her name is Amanda, and she is a sinner. What are you doing there? Was it your fate to be a monster? This time you have gone too far. <coughs> what price has all this madness cost you? Is it written in the stars? For sure you'll take a hundred lives And you'll play with their parts You'll kill lovers, husbands, their wives You have played death and art This crazy bitch will kill forever Bones will be broken, love is a lie This crazy bitch will be your neighbor No matter what, her lust will not die What lies in store? I think you understand The will be cool You might just shoot your pants My name is Amanda My name is Amanda My name is Amanda And I am the killer Was it her fate to be a monster? This time you have gone too far What price has all this madness cost her? What's it written in the stars? This crazy bitch will kill forever. Hopes will be broken, love is a lie. This crazy bitch, she'll eat your liver. No matter what, her last will not die. The crazy bitch! Oh! And you are the killer. My name is Amanda. And I am a sinner. Your name is Amanda. And I am a killer. Oh, God! They always get my data 
number from? It's 4-12-85, not 12-4-85. Bloody Americans! I miss England. There's such a thing like serial killers in the UK. So you always seem a kind of a big deal. Over here, serial killers are as common as fat kids in McDonald's. <laughs> Wow, we wow, quite a night out there, I must say. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, uh, miss. H Hills, Hills, M Manda Hills. Yeah, but I, I, I think, oh. I think, I think oh. you already. Oh, oh yes, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Hills. Just a few routine questions, and you can be on your way. I'm sure you understand. Dr. Winters has graciously offered to return accommodation at his residence until my forensics team are finished here. Should take more than a day or two. I'm sure you understand. I would have thought this was an open and shut case based on my testimony. And didn't I hear you'd found something in Damien's house? A, a diary? Yes, we did, but you don't have to concern yourself with that, miss. All the same, <laughs> uh, what, what did it say? You know, it's odd. For someone so clearly mentally disturbed, his diary was, well, 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 boring. No demented ramblings, no confessions, just an ordinary diary. Oh, was one thing though. Uh, don't know if it means anything. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Oh, may, may, may I? Oh, please do, as I said. It probably doesn't mean anything. If you are reading this note, it means I have been killed or app appre This writing is shocking. Apprehended by the authorities what I'm about to do. Well, he's obviously referring to the murder of Edgar. Ah, keep reading. I'm not referring to the murder of Edgar. <laughs> I've been tracking a killer for a long time, but tonight plan to bring them to justice. A A A H A is that an A? Oh. A H thinks they are very clever. A yeah A H A H thinks they have one, but I can say with some certainty that if A A H A H A H is reading this note, she's about to say something very incriminating indeed. Something very incriminating indeed. Shit. The world will call me insane, a fantasist, mm -hmm. and I will be blamed for a murder I did not commit. I can only hope to apprehend A.H. before this happens. I will now reveal the identity of A.H. as... As? That's it? N n nothing else? I'm afraid so. Just when he was about to give us the identity of this A.H. too. That is a damn shame, mm. isn't it? Of course it's ridiculous. I mean, Daniel was Edgar's killer, not some vigilante justice. I saw both of them die. Which brings me to your statement, Miss Hills. Now, you say in here that Damien must have hurt Edgar prior to kidnapping you, correct? Yes. And that Edgar Dying but not dead must have succumbed to his wounds before dying himself, is that correct? You've got it. Ah, but you see, I don't got it. I mean, I don't get it. How could Edgar kill Damien and then somehow manage to cut himself up? Do you understand my problem here? I told you what happened. No, I know what you said happened, but I'm telling you it's not possible. I told you what happened. No. I know what you said happened, but I'm telling you it's not possible. I told you what happened. No! I know what you said happened, but I'm telling you it's not possible. Impossible! It's not possible. Impossible! It's not possible. Impossible! It's not. If we can just move on from that, behave like mature adults, thank you. You started it. I did not start it! Now, you're not leaving here until I'm satisfied with every detail in this report that you gave me, Sims. 
And so at last we come to this The bridges burn, no going back You killed them both, just spill your guts Looks like your shit right out of luck It's over, I got you back to rise Look to sign a confession You're finished, we can be here all night What's with the hesitation? It's over, I got you back to rise Look, I wanna hear the facts You're finished, we can be here all night I'm the body But I've got a lot to go on Your story is unfolding This coffee is bloody scolding It's true you are a moron And you've got jack shit to go on Don't think I will be saying Don't like this game we're playing And so at last we come to this The bridges burn, no going back you killed them both, just spill your guts Looks like your shit right out of luck It's over, I got you back to rise Look, just sign a confession You finished, we can be here all night What's with the hesitation? Let's have a conversation I'm sick of all this waiting I'm tired of contemplating I'm appalled for bloody rhyming <laughs> It's over, I got you back To write Yeah And write Now Where are Was... Was that your idea of an interrogation? Well, yes. Yes, it was. Well, that was, um... Nicely done. You were very intimidating. Oh! Thank you, ma'am. You know, they don't call me the 1,235th best detective in the United States for nothing, you know. <laughs> A-H. A-H. God! Why did they have to give me a competent detective this time? Fifty-three times I've been interviewed by the police, and fifty-three times they've given me the biggest idiots on the force. What the hell? I had a good run. H. A. H. Valios? No. A human? Was he trying to tell us that his killer was a human? Fifty-four idiots, I'm counting. <laughs> Well, we all for now, Miss Hills. If I have any further questions, I'll be in contact. Thank you, Detective. You have been suitably incompetent. I'm sorry, what? Oh, wait! Go back here, just one last thing. Come on. Can you, uh... No. Can you explain this note? It reads... <coughs> Dear Amanda, thanks again for the erotic massage and pillow talk last night. <clears throat> we should do it again sometime. Love you, smiley face. Kevin. Can I, can I... 
I understand. You still feel guilty for breaking that poor boy's heart, don't you? What? What? Oh. Are you crying? No, 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 no. I've, I've got something in my eye. A, a massive boulder, I think. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a massive boulder, Amanda. What is that? No, no, no. It's no. tears. No, no, no. It's all right, Amanda. Just, just let it all out. Yes, I'm trying. Let's what out? The, 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 the massive boulder. I understand. Oh. You still feel guilty for breaking that poor boy's heart. If you want, only if you want, mind you, you can use my shoulder to cry on. It's very soft, look. Very much like a pillow. It could be your pillow, Amanda. Why don't you let me take care of you, hmm? Would you be offended if I told you to drop dead? Wait, A.H., I mean, Amanda Hills. Shit, so close. Oh. Whoa, whoa, A.H.? Ah, ha, 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 I see.
So I thought it would be nice for us to sit and have a chat about what went on last night in your house. An experience like that could be traumatic. I feel perfectly fine, Doctor. Oh, I do admire your attitude, Amanda. Nothing seems to faze you why why you could have been killed last night if you just shrug it off so casually. Why do you think that is? Um Yes? My my military background? Oh! I didn't know you were in the uh the, the I just forces, don't think... was it the I knew that. What I mean is Seriously, Amanda, and I would have thought of an experience like that, something so close to home. Oh, do we was... have to talk about that again? Yes, I think it could be quite therapeutic to talk about what happened to your parents. Therapeutic? There are... There are what? Therapeutic. Oh. Oh. I mean, it could help you to come to terms with their deaths, to get over it. Um, I came to terms with it a long time ago, Doctor. Last night didn't change that. But even you have to admit the circumstances are so similar. Weren't your parents found in virtually the same way? In pieces? Uh, well, yes. I was going to say something a little more subtle, but yes, in pieces. Well, technically they were the same because my father's head was found next to his thigh, whereas Edgar's head was found shoved up his own. Yes! <laughs> yes. And and my father's, you know, was way, way bigger than that. Yes, I do, I do, I get the point. What I'm trying to say is, I, I want you to trust me, Amanda. Uh, you can tell me anything that you're feeling, remember. I'm your friend as well as your doctor. Thank you. <laughs> How long has it been since your head started? Eleven? Twelve years? Um... Thirty. Ah! I'm lucky for some. Not for me. The world is a much better place now that they're gone. Surely you're not saying you're glad they are dead. <laughs> no! No, not glad. More like, um... Ecstatic! Amanda! Joking! Who are you talking to? No one! Look, your parents have been dead for 13 years. I think it's about time that you talk about it. Get anything you're feeling off your chest. Yes. Fine. Well, this conversation takes a while, so I'm going to paraphrase for your benefit. Basically, it was Halloween night, and I was grounded for the one moment at time for painting perverts on my uncle's car. Trust me, he deserved it. So, I'm alone in my room, with headphones on, listening to music. There's a knock at the door. My parents answer it and think it's a trick-or-treater. But unfortunately, it's a lunatic who proceeds to kiss my mum, among other things, and stab my dad 1,012 times and then chuck up their bodies and scatter them around the basement. You want to know the bad part about it? He stole all the candy meant for the trick-or-treaters. Oh, he was a monster. So, that's how my parents died. Understood? I can't believe what I've just heard! You wanted to talk about it, but you regret that now. That must have been awful for you, you poor, poor girl. No, no, not really. I was planning on moving out anyway, and at least if I'm gone, I have my inheritance. No amount of money can make up for the loss of a loved one, Amanda. Sure as hell helps. With the, gr with the grief. I wonder what kind of psychological effect your parents' murder had on you, Amanda. I guess it made me who I am today. And who is that? Who is Amanda? I guess one day you'll know. You'll all know. Will you, uh... Excuse me for a moment, my dear. I must uh, use the telephone.
is this? What skeletons hide in your closet? Oh! My, 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 Malcolm! We have been naughty! <laughs> my name is Horatio! Uh, of course, 
Absolutely. Why? Well, you just don't look uh, strong enough to lift a tangerine. Let alone bringing me here and tying me up. Ah, ah, but uh, penises can be deceptive. If you say so. Come on, come on. Did somebody help you? Be honest now. Oh. Psychotic godliness has made you his slave. Look, you're restrained, powerless to resist me. Well, I could do whatever I want to you, and you would be powerless to stop me. You are doing nothing to convince me this isn't still some kinky sex thing. And wouldn't you be such a lucky girl if it was? Look at me. I am beautiful. You see my tail? Yes. I spot a penis so large, <laughs> so eye-wateringly gargantuan, that women around the world have nicknamed it the... Vagina! <laughs> Looking for something? Where, where is my battle axe? What? My battle axe. I left it right here. Where is it? I think you were bored to worry about this some stupid battle axe. <laughs> it was a very expensive battle axe. Did you take it? Shut up. No, I am sick and tired of it. I'm sick of you. Bet you think you're so funny with your sarcastic <laughs> remarks and your stupid jokes, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, let's see how funny it will be when I contact the police and tell them that the real murderer of Edgar Samuels and Damien Richards is none other than my patient, Amanda Hills. How have you known? Ever since you were first referred to me as a patient. That was four years ago. I knew the second I set eyes on you that you were a creature of the dark like me. That you took pleasure in the torture and mutilation of others. Well, not exactly like you. My girlfriend isn't a severed head. Well, I mean, there's always time for a change. No, 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 no. It's all fine. It's all good. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. Why don't you, uh, absolutely. why don't you give him a little kiss? No, 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 no. No, no the head's got to go. What? The head. It's got to go. Uh, certainly not. I am playing with it. Malcolm? My name is not Malcolm! <clears throat> that is a severed head. It is not a toy. It is to only be touched by big people, like pathologists. Or... <clears throat> head collectors. Oh, uh, certainly not. Put it in the box. Oh. Go on. Must I? Yes. <clears throat> um. Switch it in. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> What 
I said no. No, no, I don't want a partnership. I've been doing just fine on my own. Fine. That's the way you want to be. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll have a partnership with Bunny over here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. He's so cute and adorable with all the bits off like a Christmas tree. Yes. <coughs> you haven't even got a name. What? You don't even have a cool serial killer name like the Night Stalker or the Hillside Strangler. I bet you do. Uh, oh, this is going to be good. <clears throat> Let's hear it then. <clears throat> but where the hell? What? But where? The hair. <laughs> but where the hair? Yes. Yes. But where the hair? That's not a name. That's a slogan or a sign for a garden fence. Her <laughs> um, today, gone tomorrow. Again, not a name. Ah. Yes! 
I'm a mask wearing, psychotic, dangerous. Ah, killer. Then prove it. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Was that your shirt? What are you, Jason Bloody Morris? Yes. Joanna 
very much that Uncle Ben has died. Is it important? Yes, it's very important. Now, obviously, you're my doctor, but you also treated my mother. What for exactly? Oh, I barely remember. Anxiety, I think. It was depression. Oh, my mistake. What of it? Are you sick of all this constant back and forth yet? I know I am. Let's speed this up a bit. I'm going to spell it out for you, Doctor. I want you to tell me everything you know about the night my parents died. No, I don't understand. I didn't even know about the night your parents died until you told me earlier. When I got parents died, I was, I was skiing in Aspen. In the, the Himalayas. Trekking up a mountain with a team of men towards a cathedral. I, 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 was, I was in Haddonfield, Illinois. I was in Crystal <coughs> Lake. I was in uh, Camp of Nobby Bosco, Illinois. Lovely place. Did you go there? Lots of duck hunting there. Cut the bullshit. Yes, please do. I don't understand. Why do you want to hear about that? Why torture yourself? Maybe it'll give me a cheap thrill. Maybe I'd like to hear how they suffered. Or maybe, just maybe, I can find out what happened and move on with my life. What? You mean, stop killing? Be normal? Boring, doesn't it? <laughs> you will never be normal. Says the man with a weird death fetish with a rabbit mask. It's a hair! <clears throat> it's clearly a rabbit. It's a hair! It's a rabbit! Enough! What do you want to know? Everything. <sighs> and quickly, who are you bleeding out, would we? Uh, but I am bleeding out. Then you better start talking! <sighs> Fine! As you know, I treated your mother. Surely you must have known how truly awful your father was and how truly unhappy he made your mother. No. <clears throat> My father was not awful. He used to play this lovely game with Mum where he tried to pillage the wall by throwing knives at her. Or that one time he bought her that lovely black and purple makeup we she used to wear under one eye. Sometimes both. No, the man was a brute who took pleasure in torturing your mother. No. No. No, he didn't used to beat her. Dad used to greet her. That's just how you say hello to my dad from. You go up to someone with a broken bottle, sometimes just a clenched fist, and you push in the other person's face. And, uh... Where is your father from? Scotland! <laughs> anyway, I prescribed your mother many things, medication, drugs, but uh, nothing seemed to work. She needed something, something more. Something only a doctor working out of hours could provide. A doctor who perhaps did house visits? Now, Amanda, you make it sound all so sordid, but then again, behind the cover of darkness, I suppose, anything can become sordid. We, we shouldn't be doing this, Patricia. No, that's what makes it all so exciting, don't you think? What? The prospect of being caught by your thug husband or Amanda. Oh, yes, very bloody exciting. Yes. Where's your sense of adventure? I haven't got any. Sticking a patient with a needle is as exciting as my day gets. What about when you stick me with your needle? Don't ever say that again. Oh, don't be like that, Bunny. I told you a thousand times. Don't call me that. Hairs are far cuter than that. I mean, more deadly than rabbits. I'm only playing, Bunny. I, I mean, honey. Come on, and I'll tell Derek. I don't think you want to finish that sentence, Patricia. You're just teasing. You're so serious. And I'm not. I'm being serious, Patricia. I think you mean Horatio. Felicio, now oh we are talking! Oh my god, no! Horatio! You stupid woman! Horatio! What? I. I don't understand. Take me! What? 
are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to seduce you. Oh, that's good. I thought you were having a fit of some kind. Yes, I believe you. In future, you'll make an appointment for my receptionist. I don't like meeting in this, this dump. This place gives me the creeps. Don't go, I'll be lonely. Oh, Amanda's upstairs. I'm sure she'll keep you company. But I can't play the same games as we do. Unless I want to go to prison. Oh, don't ever say that again. Come on, Art, tell Derek what we've been doing. If you think what he does to me is bad, just think what he's going to do to the man who's been screwing his wife. You're right, Patricia. We should play a game. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, hide and seek. Oh, yes. I love that. I tell you what, I'll turn my back in 12 to 10 and you can go and hide. What do you get if you find me? To be rid of you, you stupid woman. What? To be rid of you, you stupid woman! No, I still didn't um, catch that. Now go hide, dear. Okay, no peeking. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Yes, I was once a boring man. I followed God. What is plan? A loving wife was by my side. My darker thoughts I kept in sight. I did not see the sin around. My wife was made of my later fault. The monster deep inside of me was summoned then. He was set free. We are evil, but forever I'm a monster, not a man. We are evil. Can't be severed. I walk now with all the doubt. I love this evil to be told. This last for death makes me so bold. It makes me feel bound to six feet tall. At Satan's feet, I'll gladly fall. That mother was a drunk, she was a bitch. I hope that our affair would make me rich. I left my darker side and other plans. I'm sure you can relate, you'll understand. We are evil and forever, I'm a monster, not a man. We are evil, I'm in heaven, I walk down with all the dark. As I was once a boring man, a boring god, what is man? A loving life was by my side. My darker thoughts I kept inside. I did not see the sin around. My wife was the mother it allowed. The thoughts that deep inside of me were summoned then. He was sent for me. We are evil and forever. I'm a monster, not a man. We are evil, can't be severed. I walk.
nice reaction. Very, very convincing. I like it. Killing is my pussy game. Slaughter is my favorite game. I admit it's very strange. What can I say? I'm erased. The spoon, the finger on the floor. Goodbye, I'm much more than sure. The spoon, the finger on the floor. Thank you. 
and you did indeed bring it out. Which only means one thing. That I am a genius. No. My experiment was a complete success. I, I don't, do you know if the award the Nobel Prize to psychopathic murderers? No, it means all of this is your doing. Every bit of rage thrown from my veins, every murderous impulse, everything is because of you. I'm meticulous, malicious, I'm conspicuous, dangerous, such deliciousness, devious, I'm mischievous, devious, to hear a chainsaw cutting down the door. That a virgin screaming can get in on the door. I want to grind your bones into a smoothie. I love that I'm the villain in this horror movie. Have you ever actually watched a horror movie? Don't you know the villain never wins in the end? And no, if you die, you're not going to be resurrected by lightning, dog piss, or the tank ritual in the sequel. There will be no sequel for you. An insomniac, insomniac, crazy cat, a paranoid act, heart attack, attack. I'm a brainiac, I'm like pitch black, I'm a maniac, maniac. you go back. Do I hear a horny couple making love? Is that a virgin screaming, can't get up and go? I want to tell that girl that she's been roofied. I'm wicked, I'm the villain in this horror. To make you mad was my ultimate goal. I am a success, you will find. Amanda, you were just a my rule. <coughs> I am supreme, your mastermind. An insomnia, crazy cat, a paranoia, heart attack. I'm a brainiac, a pitch black. I'm a maniac, I go back. Do I hear a chainsaw cutting down the hall? Is that a virgin screaming, getting off the door? I want to tell the girl that she's been proofing. I'm wicked, I'm the villain in this horror movie. I You're not a genius. You're a very, 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 very stupid man who's turned a popular, spoiled 17-year-old with a knack for crochet into a Putin-loving psychopath who has killed 53 people and now has you hooked up to a blood transfusion. Uh, correction. You said it wasn't a blood transfusion apparition. Don't interrupt me! Now this monster has you, her creator, sitting right in front of her. This monster is sick of killing. This monster wants to be popular again. To be normal again. Maybe the only way of doing that is to kill you, my creator. You can't escape. I can leave you right now and you'd be dead within 30 minutes. Yes, butter! <laughs> Where would be the fun in that, eh? <laughs> you are right. 30 minutes is just too damn long. Let's try and speed that up a bit, shall we? What are you doing, Amanda? What? Oh, please, there's no call for ah! You're embarrassing yourself, Amanda. Please, stop. Ooh, what is this? So, that's what a Mr. A means. You may die now. Oh, oh.
desire to cut to stomach, intellis intestines fall out. Well, most of the time I don't. I realise now killing was an addiction, and like any addiction, you have to take it one day at a time. I didn't kill anyone yesterday, I didn't kill anyone today, and tomorrow, I'll get back to you on that one. Thank 
sacrifice the sacred goat. Once, twice, he definitely Just how many chickens have you chosen?
clean this place? Well, you know, I was, but <clears throat> writing my novel, and then I took a break, but that was to have sex with the landlord, so I'll do it tomorrow. Is that true? Yes, I'll do it tomorrow! No! Did you have sex with the landlord? Well, that, that might have been last night. I'm joking! Really? Let's run away from movie cycles. 
shit. Or, ah, we have Timothy Owens. He would be a fine lawyer if he'd lived long enough to make it to law school. But this member can do what? Again, that, that wasn't of mine. Evelyn Corbin, now she was No, no that one was the, uh, the, the Boston Strangler. Elizabeth Stride. That was Jack the Ripper. Fine! Damn it. Curtis Schroeder? I think you know the answer to that. Oh, ah, Edgar Samuels, Damian Richards, Dr. Horatio Winters. I think you mean Dr. Malcolm Winters. I think you see where I'm going with this. So, this is all a lie. Our relationship. The little interrogation that starts the show. You knew I was the killer and you just let me carry on. Hell, if you had to me sooner, maybe Dr. Winters would still be alive. <sighs> I do accept responsibility in part for the death of Dr. Winters, but I have you hope I get sicker and I mean 53 counts of murder. See, yeah. this is why you keep secrets from your partner. You have gone and ruined it over a little bit of money. That's homicide? Alan Carr and his friends are dead. Not mass homicides. Mass homicides! Oh, my mistake. It was any consolation. After Dr. Winters, I vowed never to kill again. Oh, that's all right then. Let's go upstairs and have dinner and forget this whole messy affair. Really? No, not really. Tell me, Amanda. Did you ever really love me? Or did you just use and abuse me for my body? And you 
used you as a means to get in. And your detective Riley. The, uh, Dr. Samuel Lewis, your Michael Myers, if you like. Yes? So, who are you really? Dr. Malcolm Winters. I've been your psychiatrist for quite some time. Ever since your parents died, in fact. So it's all been in my head? Most of it. Your fantasy is made up of bits and pieces from your actual life. Though your parents are dead, they were not murdered by me. <laughs> so you didn't have sex with my mother? Uh, well, let's, uh, let's get back to talking about you, Amanda. Eh? So, who are these people? Ah, boyers. Uh, I mean, the audience. I mean, um, uh, medical students interested oh. in your case, of course. I'm not a monster. No! All you are is a very confused young woman, Amanda. You couldn't even hurt a fly, let alone murder anyone. You have been here for quite some time. I think you see this hospital as something rather akin to... Home! I think I always knew it wasn't real. It's nice to pretend. What? To be a homicidal maniac? <laughs> nice isn't exactly the word I would use. I'm sure there are better things you could pretend to be. Like? Well, madly in love with me, for example. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not that crazy, Doctor. So what did happen to my parents? No, please, we don't have to go to that again, right? No, 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 I'd like to. <sighs> it was an accident, Amanda. One of your father's paintings caught fire. Now, you will be glad to hear that they both suffered a very traumatic and agonizing death. Okay? Now, you have been here for ten years. I have been trying to help you come to terms with death. But you never will. But I won't stop helping you until the day comes. So I'm not... mad. I mean, bad. No. All you are is a very confused young woman, Amanda. Remember? Your fantasy is made up of bits and pieces from your actual life. Now, why don't you leave all of this madness behind you and uh, perhaps join me for dinner? You know, after all, as the great man once said, I am beautiful. And I can assure you that I've sport a penis so large, so gargantuan, that women around the world have nicknamed it... A vagina? I feel I'm going to have to prescribe something for you, my dear. Something that might involve a swift and uh, very painful... Oh! I'm feeling so much better now, Doctor. Thanks. Oh! Oh! Oh, bugger. Oh. Thank you again, Doctor. Oh. If I have any friends, I will be sure to recommend you. Thank you, promise! It is no problem, my dear. Please, uh, take two paracetamol my call me in the morning, won't you? <laughs> uh, well, this, this is rather unexpected, Amanda. After me telling you that you weren't even a psychopath and it was all made up. Let me see that. 
Oh, <laughs> 